keyframing in DaVinci Resolve. In this video, we're gonna have sort of an intro to keyframing for those who don't know uh, what it is. Now, keyframes are what we use to add motion to clips or to elements or even to effects. So this is just going to be just the basics, all right? And you're gonna use keyframes in any uh, video editor that you use, so you need to know essentially how they work. So we'll start with this clip right here. I have it selected, I'm gonna turn down the music a bit there. Select it, and let's go ahead and open up our inspector. If your transform controls aren't showing, just double click that. So what I want for this clip is I want it to pan across the screen, okay? But first, let me go ahead and zoom it up just a bit, and we'll say we're gonna start about there. Now I'm gonna place my playhead, in this case, at the beginning, I could put it at the end. It doesn't matter which way we uh, keyframe, but I'll put it right here at the very beginning. I'll go ahead and put in my keyframe on my position, and I want it to start right here. So then I'll take my playhead, just pull it down to the end of this clip, or maybe just before that clip, and then go ahead and make my adjustment. And then you can see down here on our clip, by this diamond icon, I can click that, you can see our keyframes right in there, and you can see it's our transform controls. We can actually change these, drag them around, and do other things, but we're just gonna keep this basic for now. So guess what, we're done with that, uh, with that movement. So now let's pull it back here, and we'll just watch it. There we go. Have our nice pan. Super easy motion there, using our keyframes. All right, let's do it again with a different element this time. Close down the inspector. I wanna use this arrow right here. It's not really gonna make much sense, but let's just put it over this clip right here. Go ahead and trim it. But of course we can't see through it, so I'll select it, open up our inspector. I'm gonna change my composite mode to something that lightens it up. So now we can actually see through that clip. I'm gonna go ahead and, again, in the transform, let's scale it down a bit. And let's start it over here, okay? Put my playhead back. I wanna start it off the screen. Go ahead and click my keyframe. Pull my playhead down to the end of our clip. And I'm just gonna pull the position off of that, uh, that side there. Pull my playhead back and see our animation. Okay, again, we could disclose our keyframes here. Maybe I want to add another keyframe. I can go ahead and do that. Just park my playhead, say here. And this time let's, uh, let's add a zoom keyframe. Put this back here at the beginning. Go ahead and pop our keyframe on first. And right about here, I want it to scale up. So I'll scale it up here. Then I'll come about here and scale it down. There we go. You can see those keyframes now in there. Now we also have the spline editor, which we're not gonna get into, but just realize you have that uh, there as well. So now, play it back again. You can see now it's getting larger as it's going through, and then it scales back down. All right, again, we can use this for more than just video clips. We can also use it for effects. So let's go to our effects library, open effects here. And let's just find something in here that we can use. And I'll grab this waviness and just put it right on our clip right there. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. We're gonna go ahead and animate this here. A little bit different. So again, open the inspector. This time head to our open effects. And you can see everything over here that we can animate in keyframe. So what we want, Let's say we'll start with the scale all the way down, okay? Pull it back to the start of my clip, turn on my keyframe for this uh, scale. Then we'll move our playhead here, pull up our scale, okay? And then move it up a little bit more and maybe pull it down, okay? And that is our animation. You can see that animate up, and then animates back down. Okay, so that is just a real quick look here at our keyframes in DaVinci Resolve. Again, there's, there's much more to this. We can keyframe in several different windows, by the way. In, in Fusion, for example, we have a whole keyframe window 
and in some various other windows as well. But just as a basic look at keyframes, it's really just uh, that easy to do. Select your clip or uh, your effect, open up your inspector, go ahead and engage the keyframe for whatever it is you want. Okay, position your playhead wherever you want that change uh, to occur. Go ahead and change this stuff around that we have keyframed and you're pretty much done.